Hey everybody, this is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. I wanted to take just a few minutes here and show you a little trick that I've been using for the past few years. Uh, whenever I'm trying to buy a vacant parcel of land, and it's something that I think a lot of people don't even really think about when they're doing their research process, but it's it's really, really important. And that is to find out what the topography of the property is. And basically what that means is the actual elevations and hills, valleys, ravines, anything like that, or if it's just a flat piece of property. And the reason this is important is because if you want to build or really do anything on the property, you're really going to want to know, is it buildable? Is it going to be too steep? Is it going to be on a cliff? I mean, what, what exactly does the lay of the land look like if you're actually standing on the property and if you're trying to do something substantial with it? So just to give you a little idea of how I use Google Earth to do this, it's actually pretty awesome. I'm going to start just by showing you what Grand Rapids, Michigan looks like, because that's where I'm from. So let's just put that in here. And I will give you just an illustration of just how flat Michigan is. In my particular city and county, and really pretty much anywhere in my state, I don't really have to worry about this because there's not a lot of hills around here. But all you do, and right now I'm using a PC, all I'm doing is using my mouse button and hitting the control key. And it allows me to really do this kind of thing and look at the horizon, and I can really... You know, I can even go downtown, I can kind of get more detail on it. And really, as you can see, as far as I can possibly go, it's just flat everywhere. So, um, in my particular state, things like hills and valleys are not usually something I have to worry about, just because there's not a lot of that going on. But what if you live out west? You know, what if you're what if you're in Alaska? What if you're in Colorado or Texas or California? Really, any of these states that that do have mountains and have a lot more topography to them? I'm just going to give you a quick example here. Uh, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon, and we'll see just how different it is and how Google Earth can help you with that. <clears throat> okay. Now, obviously, from up top here. Doesn't look like much, but if we, again, and just so you know, I'm using my right mouse button. And all I'm doing is, is clicking and dragging and it's bringing me in here. And when we go in here, it's like, whoa! Wow. This is a lot more detail than most of us are used to with seeing just satellite maps. I mean, we can actually get into the canyon and, I mean, I mean, really, you can pick any pinpoint on the globe and zoom in on that and see exactly what the uh, elevations look like. So obviously this is pretty helpful if you're trying to figure out uh, just what the lay of the land is. Now I'm just going to give you a quick example uh, using Agent Pro and again I've got a few other videos on Agent Pro and how you can use this but Agent Pro is the software that I use when I'm trying to research properties and as you can see I'm just I kinda pick this random property not not far from Colorado Springs and as you can see from the satellite picture here I mean this doesn't give us a lot of detail it shows us the parcel shape which is helpful and we can even zoom in and you know I guess you know I mean you can see some helpful detail but still I mean it just kinda looks flat because there's no dimension you can't really see anything but what happens when you actually pull a profile report and actually dig into the details a little bit more and I'll show you in just a second Okay, now what happens is it actually gives us this profile report of the property, which tells us not everything there is to know, but a lot of things that are helpful. We've got the legal description. We've got the size of the property. This one's 75 acres. Um, and particularly what I'm looking for here is the latitude and longitude numbers. So what I'm going to do is highlight these numbers here and paste them into Google Earth. Let's put this one first and then separate it by a comma and get the longitude. Paste that in here. And then boom, this is going to take us all the way to that property. And we're going to really be able to zoom in here and see just how flat or not flat it actually is. And again, using my right mouse button, we can just zoom in here. And by the way, if you're using a Mac, you can do all the same stuff using your control and shift keys. Um, and here if I hit the shift key, I can kind of tilt the tilt it and 
zoom in, and really as you can see, this property is not flat at all. In fact, it's actually pretty doubtful as to whether or not this thing is even buildable just because of how crazy the, you know, I mean, look at that. It's like almost like a 45 degree angle. <laughs> I don't want to say it's impossible to build there, but man, I mean, if I just had that parcel map over here and if, and if, if this was all I saw, I would be clueless as to whether or not this thing was on a mountainside or, you know, out in a, a field somewhere. So, as you can see, uh, this just really gives us some helpful information and just perspective as far as, you know, is the property flat or is it not? And not to mention, I mean, if, if you're just trying to get an idea for the property's surroundings, I mean, you can pull up these pictures that other people have posted that are really, I mean, right there. Um, and you can also, it might not, it's probably not available here, but Google Street View if, if you're in a more populated area, it can be really helpful because you can actually see the property right up close. So, And uh, just so you know, I mean, at the time of this recording, Google Earth has done a lot of innovative stuff that has really given us a lot of options as far as what we can see for properties. And they're releasing new stuff all the time. So as you're watching this video, I mean, the Google Earth software could be even more sophisticated than it is in the video that I'm showing you right now. So, and really all you got to do is just go to Google, type in the word Earth, and it's probably going to be the first thing that pops up. So again, I mean, I encourage you to check this out, and as you can see, it's pretty darn cool. I mean, you can go just about anywhere and, uh, you know, see... <laughs> see a lot of helpful info. Just for example, one of my favorite places is, is Glacier National Park in Montana. And I mean, this is just awesome. I mean, the detail that you can see, I mean, you just couldn't, you couldn't do this kind of thing a couple of years ago. So obviously it takes a few minutes to load, but I mean, this is the kind of thing that you have at your disposal. and especially when you're buying vacant land and especially if you're buying vacant land out of state that you can't just drive and see yourself I mean this is probably the best way I know of to really you know just find out the details that you need to know for any property you're buying um, so yeah just thought I'd share that with you guys and hopefully it's helpful and uh, yeah if you got any questions let me know